Time to get up, man. Can be late for breakfast. It's all your fault. Are you awake? No. You're not awake. What would your mother say if you knew you were asleep this late? What? What would your mother say if she knew you were asleep this late? Nothing. I always sleep lighter than this. <laughs> no, come on, let's go. We're all going to go make mustard, okay? I'll make mustard. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. He's doing pretty good. He was a little bit queasy last night, but we got him some uh, seasick medicine, so he's a lot better now. And I slept good, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I slept too long and I missed breakfast. Steady as you go. He's toughing it out real good. So uh, he's doing a lot better than a normal guy would do. So I'd, I'd be pretty proud of him. 1980 is the range search, right? Go through the water. Every time you hit a wave, it slows the ship down just a little bit. I would consider being in the Navy. So what happens is this show never do exactly the speed she wants to go. She's I like it. It's fun. But I don't really know because I don't have to go stand watch for five hours and do all that other stuff they have to do. She gets a wave and But I like it, like being on the ship. She may speed up or some uh, you know, one screws with her a little bit faster for a little while. I think the thing that Kirby enjoys doing the most on board is uh, uh, utilizing the uh, combat uh, tactics simulator down in the uh, EW shop down there. And what is that combat tactics simulator? A TurboGrafx-16 machine. It's got quite a few big video games on there. Seems to be uh, spending quite a bit of time down there. Getting a huge one now. It's great, great. Fresh open sea, waves crash over the aft there. Can't beat it. First time, first course, anyway. How high is that rooster tail getting, you think? Let's see. Well, it's over my head. I'm standing in the back back here. How high? 30 feet. Professional guess. <laughs> The performance of this ship is another aspect that I was quite overwhelmed with. From zero to over 30 knots in less than a couple of minutes, and then able to stop within a thousand or so feet. This is more like a ski boat in terms of its handling characteristics, and I was really quite surprised. memorable time we've had on this tiger cruise is just standing around getting to talk to my dad just spend some time with him and kind of get to know him again you're not getting called by your last name and your rate number and but you're being called by your first name it makes you feel like you're back in the civilian world i love my son very much and i think that our time together has been so special that uh, that, that that just deepens and would this be a last hurrah? No, I don't think so. There'll be more time for us, but perhaps not as special. Attention on deck. It's hard for me to, to talk so personally about him and his accomplishments. But the real display of that to me has been the way the captain has appreciated his efforts. Presenting the Navy Combination Medal to Chief Fire Controlman Surface Warfare, Kurt Howard Kaufman, United States Navy. I must confess that I feel that my son is also my best friend. And perhaps that's unusual, I don't know. But it's it's a wonderful thing for me that that we talk on a level of friend to friend, not father-son. And and to me that's the highest respect I can pay to him as an individual, that I treat him as an equal or even more so, more of a person than I am. This is my last time underway on this ship. I reported on board in March of 1990 when she was about 60% complete. And I helped to build her, and it's going to be hard to leave her. I hope help the crew to find a source of pride and to be able to carry that pride on so that as they go back out to sea and I stay ashore, 
they'll be able to, uh, to carry on. When you live aboard a ship day in and day out, and when your lives depend on one another, when you're having to protect each other and look out for each other and, and be concerned for each other's welfare, you develop an incredible bond. Every time you hear about the ship's exploits, and whatever they're doing and wherever they are, I think it'll probably bring a lump to my throat. Six months is a long time to be away from your family. It's been so long since you've seen them, the kids, they're probably about four inches taller than they were when I left. Just to see everybody at once, it's, it's a very intense emotional time. What are you doing? It's a good indicator that you are really coming home. It's like this, uh, this feeling of it's finally over. have seen something, they've sent something that probably they've never been exposed to in their entire life. And that's why going on a Tiger cruise is the ultimate adventure for many of them, a lifetime experience.